Hello guys, Absolute Duelist here, coming at you with the, my last <laughs> locals of OP03. Now, for this last locals, I decided to, to take Trafalgar Law, and round one is against Doflamingo. Yes, we've got a Mingo player against my Law deck, and canonically, this doesn't look too well for me, right? So we're gonna see how this goes, because it's Trafalgar Law versus Law, like, well, sorry, Trafalgar Law versus Doflamingo, the guy who literally ripped off Law's arm. So let's go ahead and see how this is gonna go. So it looks like the Doflamingo player is going first. He's gonna go ahead and do nothing, and it's our turn now. So we go ahead and rest one, play our lovely Nami. Guys, I have max rarity in my Trafalgar Law deck recently. It feels so good to have those beautiful cards. So yep, yeah, we've got a Nami on the board, and we're also gonna play that Winner Bonnie as well. So we've got our Bonnie and Nami on the board. Well, Doflamingo does have a problem getting rid of uh, characters, so it's going to make it easy for us. And he's going to go ahead and play his free cost Doflamingo. Let's see what he's going to do with that. He's going to stack his deck. It looks like he put them all on the top. And he's probably just going to swing five at life. Do we choose to take it? Probably not. Oh, we do choose to take it. Okay. Interesting choice. We go up by two Don there. And let's see what we're gonna do. And I also like these chopper sleeve guys. Recommendation for all of you, um, because I, I wanted to use the new chopper sleeves. I also play a Zoran pass. I will, if you wanna play like the art sleeves, don't just play them blank. Try to get the new dragon shield over sleeves because they're actually really, really nice. But the Doflamingo player goes ahead and swings with Dofi and plays the one cost Dofi off the top of his deck to stack again. Interesting choice. Maybe his uh, top wasn't great and he just wants to make sure that he can get as much top decking as possible. But we're going to go ahead and take the seven and let's see what he's going to do after that. He does have two Don left. Rests one to go ahead and play the Perona. Maybe the top three weren't great. So he's looking at the next, but why wouldn't you just put them to the bottom? Interesting choice there, but what's he gonna do with it? Is he gonna, he's just gonna put them all on top again. And let's see what we're gonna do. So we unrest our Don, and let's see. We're gonna go ahead and draw for turn. We're gonna use the Bonnie ability, looking at the top five, hitting the Restand Law. Not really the law we wanna see, but not bad. And we go ahead and play another Bonnie, looking at the top five again. And do we hit that lovely law that we want to see? Do we hit the good card? No, we hit a Basil Hawkins. Not really the cards we want to be seeing, but hey, we'll see what we can utilize them for. Like, Basil Hawkins is a very, very powerful card against this deck as well. So we go ahead and swing 2k into the one cost Doflamingo with the Nami. And then we're going to swing five into that Doflamingo as well, because that Doflamingo can remove our one cost for absolutely free. So we go ahead and swing six into the blocker Doflamingo, because he did block with it. We play a chopper, and then we shambles out the Nami into the Basil Hawkins, and then we pass. So the Doflamingo player's turn now. It looks like he just drew a 3,000 worlds, so that's going to be a very good card. He's going to go ahead and straight use it on our Basil Hawkins, the card that is just really strong against Doflamingo. He goes ahead and swings seven into life, plays a teach, which will go ahead and return that chopper. So we're going to be taking that seven most likely. We do have a lot of cards in hand though, so we can counter out. And it looks like we do for eight. So we untap all our Don, untap our Bonnie, untap the Zoro, and we're going to draw for turn. Okay, so we do get the lore off of our Bonnie search, which is very, very good. Allowing us to just go ham, but do we have the ability to get the five characters on the board? We play a Nami, looking at the top five, adding on a Brook, 2k counter, very good card there. Then, are we going to do anything else? We've got a load of cards in hand, we've got that Brook, we've got multiple Brooks. We're going to go ahead and swing six into the Teach. Okay, we're going to rest free. Alright. Like, I think the Dofu player is on four as well. So we're resting free, maybe playing a Robin. No, we're going to play a Zoro. Very good card, Blo Rush Zoro. Lovely all R as well. And we swing into the Perona, just cleaning up his board a bit. So plays that Blocker Chopper, then resting two. Returning the Zoro to play the Lord, to play the, the Return the Bonnie and play a Nico Robin. Very good. Maybe we have an Otama in hand. Makes life easier. And he goes ahead and discards a Gecko Moria to not take an additional five from my leader Law. So he goes ahead and rests a ton and plays the Mihawk. He goes ahead and returns my blocker Law to the bottom. Swinging five into life. Will we take it? Like we've got tons of cards. So we do choose to counter with that four cost Zoro. And let's see what we're gonna do. So we draw for turn, tons of cards in our hand. Like we do have a load of advantage, just been searching this entire game pretty much. Go ahead and play the Bonnie, looking at the top five. Will we hit that lovely Law? We hit a Capone, but that's not the Law that we wanna have in our hand. And what are we gonna do? So, question is, can we deal with that Mihawk? So we're gonna swing five into life, he does choose to take it. We're gonna swing five with the Nami into life. He chooses to discard a Teach, okay. 
We're gonna swing another five of the Nico Robin. Okay, he discards another Teach, just all one costs. Swing seven into life and he does take it. Then we're gonna rest two to Shambles the Nami, play a lore, restand the Zoro, and then swing for eight into life as well, which he does take. Hits a 3,000 Weld, which is gonna give him just a great free resource, gets rid of my Chopper. Very good card. Like, 3,000 Worlds is one of the best removals in the game. And let's see what he's going to do. He's on 10 Don. Play another Mihawk. He could go ahead and swing with that Dofi. Potentially stack his deck. He does play a Perona, so he's going to go ahead and stack his deck. Okay, what's he going to put on top? Like, maybe a Gecko Moria, because that could get him stuff from the graveyard, give him more counter. Like, tons of options for him to go ahead and put on top of deck. He could just go ahead and put back. And he's going to go ahead and swing 7 into life. And he plays the Gecko Moria. Goes ahead and adds the Blocker Dofi back. Very strong card. Being able to stack his deck again after that as well. And we're going to go ahead and counter that though. We don't want to take the damage. And what we're going to do next. So he does have the ability to swing that, that Mihawk. I think that's going to happen. Probably into the Zoro or into the Robin. Because like these are just two very good cards. Like the Robin's just going to be a free spot removal. And he's going to go ahead and 3,000 miles the Lord. Leaving him with only two Don left. Interesting choice. It means he can't play that Dofi now. But he does go ahead and get rid of the five cost restand law. He's going to swing 11 into the Zoro. So this is probably going to die. I don't really think there's a reason to keep it. Outside of maybe like he's on one life. So yeah, we just let it die. And then we're going to go ahead and restand all of our Don. And let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. Okay. So we go ahead and rest our Bonnie. He looking at the top five. And... <laughs> We just showed Monkey D. Luffy and Free Laws. Okay, what do we want to take with that then? Like, we could take the Law and get that, but... Oh, okay, so we do choose to take the Law. Like, that means we're not going to have the Rush Luffy, meaning we can't get through multiple blockers. So if he drops a couple, that's going to make it hard to get rid of, like, his last life, I guess. Goes ahead and decreases the Gekko Moria with an Otama. Swings five into life, killing the Gekko Moria. Just taking away that chance of killing me. He does go ahead and counter with a Gekko Moria, though. The 1k 6 cost, uh, 6k power. Okay, so he's gonna we're gonna go ahead and rest. What that four? No three. Play a Zoro. Swing five into life. He goes ahead and counters. All right. We swing another five into life. He goes ahead and counters again. Just uh, tons of fives going straight into that life. We re pay one to play the Capone, then rest two to go ahead and play the Law. Restand the Zoro, and then we go ahead and swing with the Zoro. And he does choose to take that life. Okay. So what's he going to do? He draws a turn. He does have the Mihawk and his mat was falling off. So I chose to help him there. And he's going to go ahead and play the Doflamingo. So he's going to look at the top couple cards of his deck. See if there's anything he wants to stack on top. Will he choose to stack anything on top? Let's find out. Like, will they go to top or the good one? They just stay on top. Okay, so he's put them on top almost every time, meaning that he's got some pretty good stacks. Like, he's had 3,000 worlds, he's got tons of warlords. He's going to go to pay four to play a Boa Hancock blocker, though. Very strong, but we do have the Otama in hand, so we're just going to be able to kill that with the Nico Robin. He's going to go ahead and swing nine into the Zoro. We just let it die. And then he's going to. We're going to go ahead and swing seven into face. Okay. Or was it into the Nico Robin? No, it was probably into face then. And he can't play the Perona because I think he, he he revealed a Perona and tried to play it. I think he's basically a returning player as well, guys. I'm not gonna lie. He, he's been uh, just come back into the game, but he tries to play a Perona, and I told him you can't do that. So yeah, it's been a while since he's actually played Do Flamingo. He's part of my team, as you may not have been able to tell. But we're gonna go ahead and swing five into life. And that's just game, guys. But yeah, first game for him coming back. It was a pretty fun game. He had fun playing his Doflamingo deck. And yeah, like it was a very good back and forth as well, guys. Like that wasn't a bad game. I just had a load of resources the entire game, which Lore is very good with. And I have upgraded the Opio free list a bit, guys. Not sure if you want to see it. If you do, tell me in the comment section below and I might make a profile for my last list of Opio free for Trafalgar Lore. But anyway, guys, that is it for this game. I hope you did enjoy. I'll see you guys in game two. Later on.